Hello, I am Endlessness and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and since we have crashed in the critical threat events I won't be doing it solo but at least I wanted to show you the co-op crash, what you could bring and how the battle looks like. I can also recommend joining the unofficial Ever Crisis Discord, there are some kind big players who are doing carries as long as you can bring a character with required stats and weapons. So I'll leave the link below to that Discord. In all previous crash events it was relatively easy to carry people, someone could have just brought any half decent healer and the other two carriers would have done most of the job. It's not the same case here because this crash has a lot of limitations and restrictions. For example, one person needs a strong wind DPS, OB6 won't likely be enough so you need OB10 wind DPS weapon with some or good sub weapons. So either Yuffie with Wind Arcanum, Tifa with Motor Drive or Sephiroth with Dark Havens and ideally his newest banner weapon. Then we also need a character with Wind Debuff, so ideally Nanaki with Silver Color from the newest banner. And it doesn't have to be over boosted very high, it can be Obi-Wan, but of course the higher the better. Also you'll need to make Nanaki the tank so stacking physical defense is needed as well as having some earth resistance so he can survive those meteors. Also you need a higher level of this earth resistance so ideally level 5 or level 6 and there are only 3 weapons with earth resistance in the game and they are all healing weapons but in this case it's great because Nanaki will have to help with heals because you won't get enough AEB with mats to be able to heal and buff in time. Nanaki also needs to have the lowest max HP to be targeted by the boss and lastly healer so only mats because he has centipede and is required so oh also by the way mat with Nanaki will need to have the same limit break to nullify the attack buff that boss will inflict on himself pretty often and other than that stack HP, heals and physical defense. And if you'll be trying to go with Matt, he needs around 10,000 HP and 2.5 heals and that should be enough. Also this is how my Matt looks like, gear voucher outfit with this Vanquishing X limit break, centipede main weapon slot and cura materia for single target heals in that heal boost slot so it gets 20% heal potency. Also Bahamut weapon to break sigils and in sub equipment slots I have guard stick to boost Matt's heals and then 4 point tricken for more HP and buff debuff extension duration and lastly I have personally put stream saber to boost physical attack of our wind DPS but I only did that because my Matt's stats were high enough otherwise you would have to equip something to boost your stats if you are under. But my Matt has 10.5 10 HP, 3000 heal and 185 physical defense. As I said, Ace, you don't need as much but 2.5 heal, around 10,000 HP and I think 130 physical defense should be fine. So I am together with Mogul and Oblivion. Mogul is our Nanaki with silver color but his other sub weapons are very high and Oblivion has a very strong Tifa so he is our wind DPS. So at the very beginning of the battle you don't have sigils like on the X stages you are being hit by meteors. So you'll have to prepare for that and that's why you want Nanaki with secondary heals because you have to switch to defense and Matt doesn't have enough AEB to recover after this because you'll get hit three times so you have to coordinate here. And it depends, if you have OB6 centipede it's, it's a little bit different for you but with me I don't so we have to co compensate for this but we should be fine here. Just keep in mind, first Nanaki gets hit by three meteorites and then he gets hit by this charged one, so there's a lot to do. And now it's this wind resistance with this wind gauge and you need to deploy it very fast and then you need to have enough DPS on your wind DPS character to be able to do that, to deplete it in time, otherwise it's a wipe.
put here as mat so a healer so my job is done for now i provided the buff and i'll be able to cure us after after we get hit here But also yes, that's why you want to have Nanaki with his, with this limit break and then Matt with the, the same limit break to nullify those buffs because Galen Balor gets a huge physical attack buff and it, it will hurt. also mend so this is the time where as smart you want to have this diamond sigil and also mogul with Tanaki will break diamond sigil as well because of his silver color and you want to break this face very fast because he recovers hp insanely fast he out heals or dps so that's why you want to break those sigils as fast as possible And here, of course, try to recover because we'll get hit by that greater rush again. And always switch defense after the stagger phase. Because on greater rush, he always gets this attack, physical attack buff. So yes, I have a, enough time to recover here, HP, and then I still have to hit the limit break to nullify it. Because he will start doing those rakes and with that buff, it'll hurt a lot. But now it's Meteorite Cluster again, so we'll get hit by those Meteorites again, so Mogo will have to rec recover. I'm already preparing because I saw physical defense is blinking, so it's about to expire and I have to reapply this buff. But yes, you have to always check the, as a healer, you ideally you want to check the ADB of, of Nanaki to see who, he, who has to heal next. So everyone survives this. But now it'll be again Storm Shield, so Nanaki will have to nullify this buff and debuff it so Tifa can deplete this gauge in time. As you can see, it's the same phases over and over again. They just rotate back, but we should be able to deplete it in time. That's pretty close. We should be fine, I think, because yes, Galen Balor has his big attack buff and we don't have a limit break ready to nullify it. So as you can see, that this normal attack, it hits a lot. So here we just have to switch the defense on everything to immediately be able to do that. And yes, we are in the middle of the seizure phase, but I saw I can nullify it. His attack buff, so I'd rather do it. 
now instead of risking to do it a little bit later in case he hits us. But yeah, that's essentially the, the whole crash. It depends on, on your team. If you are able to get it done a little bit quicker or it'll take you a little bit longer, it mostly depends on, on, on the DPS, how how much, how for how hard it hits. But yeah, that's essentially the whole battle. The phases, they will just rotate until he he is in, in, in the red HP bar and then he'll get his enrage and if he gets that then he, he'll do those meteorites and they will one shot everyone but he, it should be two so one last character should be able to to survive this and of course you you can raise a character once in a battle so you have some time to recover here but yeah if you want to get carried I can recommend joining the unofficial Ever Crisis Discord server and I, I leave a link below. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next one.